So in today's session, we'll focus on FSM Functional Setup Manager. We'll see how to enable the offerings and options, how to create implementation project. Then we'll go through how system creates the tasks. If you, if you want to associate or if you want to assign specific offering or options or anything to the team members, how to do that, how we can do the system configuration. So how to update the status and finally how to track the progress of the project will go through if time permits will focus on few other points also fine so hope it is very clear to everyone whatever we discussed and did in the yesterday session we created an implementation user and we assigned the roles and we verified the user privileges which are granted to the user through relevant roles right so the current user whatever we created as a ERP3 INC this user has access to FSM security console and employee related as well as schedule process and we discussed about job called as LDAP lightweight direct access protocol what is the purpose of the job role synchronization what are the roles we are assigning to the user to synchronize the roles we have to submit the LDAP job that is a recommendation from Oracle done now we log into the instance with this user and we'll proceed with the FSM fine so username is ERP3 INC To navigate to FSM, we have to click on the user. Within this panel, <clears throat> we have a task called as setup and maintenance. Just click on this. Now we are in the FSM. The first step is in the fresh instance, we have to enable the offerings and options. So we'll see how to enable the offerings and options. Here we can see actions, click on the actions and we can find one action called as go to offerings. Okay, go to offerings. How we are navigating, once you log into the instance, click on the username, it will open the panel. If the user has access to role called as application implementation consultant you can find the task called setup and maintenance within this panel click on the setup and maintenance it navigate us to fsm from there we have to go to action called as go to offerings just select go to offerings option or say action so these are the different offerings available within this instance. Okay, these are the different offerings available in this instance. Here we could see our financials offering. Already we discussed what is the meaning of offering and option. The same applicable here. Okay, financials is one offering. Fusion accounting hub is separate offering. Product management is separate offering. Okay. See what Oracle it is, we discussed few points related to offering. The financials is offering, SEM is offering. Apart from this, which product can be used standalone with other applications also with integrations or directly within the Fusion applications. Those they given as a separate offerings, even those are options. Okay, that, that could be module, specific application, but that can be used standalone with other integrations or directly without any integrations. Those applications, they given as offering only. In fact, those are options. That is another point which we have to understand. Okay, when you say offering, it may not be all the time the collection of modules. Most of the cases, the 
the relevant modules they are grouping and they are calling as offering but sometimes you can find specific module also one of the offer okay here see order management they given as a separate offering reality that is option the reason is when they release this fusion product they release this order management not very initial stage okay so later stages later in the not very early releases they introduce the order management the later releases say around uh, release 10 or 9 these are the uh, that was the time where they released the order management that is the reason they given as a separate offering okay here you could see offering called as procurement which consists of multiple application the product management okay so the inventory the item creation all everything is possible from the product management which they replaced with inventory application again within the product management there are sub applications also which we call as options that's how you could see many applications student management as one offering okay supply chain planning workforce development workforce deployment this two will define the hcm applications the collection of hcm applications we can find under these two offerings so that's how we have a different offerings if you want to understand about any offerings just select that offering just click on the offering just select the offering here you can see the description of the offering the financials the financials offering consists of which flows or say which applications okay which flows or which applications here you can see this financial offering okay contains the flows like assets asset related application and ledger it means general ledger and cash cycle it's a cash management invoices and payments nothing but payables account receivables yes directly receivables and collections nothing but advanced collection application and this financial offering allows us to do any sort of modifications to subledger accounting yes that also we have as a part of uh, like uh, which supports all these applications one of the future subledger application and setup of subledger application even you can modify same as ebs and tax configuration nothing but an ebs ebt e business tax and fusion we call as fusion tax okay so that's how we have in fact within this we have expense also fusion expense also but you have to take the separate license for fusion expense that is the reason they are not displaying the that, that that's really they are not displaying in this uh, description as that is a part of financials even that is connected with the finance separate license sub, separate subscriptions required okay so that's how we have if you notice here this offering the financials offering status is enabled in this instance the financials offering is already enabled the reason this is vision instance not fresh instance okay so if it is a fresh instance if it is a fresh instance how we have to enable so the same process we have to navigate to offerings we have to select specific offering then you can find the description of offering by default you could see status as not enabled in that case you have to click on opt-in features you have to click on the tab called as opt-in features okay just click on opt-in features the financials offering consists of which options and everything it would display so here you can notice the financials is already enabled so by default you could see everything as a disabled okay so what we'll do is we'll, we'll enable one by one so whatever we are going to implement for the client before that for which modules client take in the subscription okay so we have to enable the financials so when you enable the financials by default system would enable general ledger without general ledger there is no meaning for financial modules right if you are going to implement payables 
only payables for example yes you need ledger definition from general ledger right so that is the reason whenever you enable financial system enables this general ledger application by default here the other application is supplier invoice process nothing but payables whenever you enable the payables it enables supplier related functionality and payables here payables means invoice process and payment process cash management and banking yes when you are dealing with the payables we require the bank account definition and all okay these will get enabled automatically when you enable the payables so accounts payable supplier invoice processing defines accounts payable application they are giving the name they are not giving the name as accounts payables but when you see the option called as supplier invoice processing it is nothing but accounts payable application so expense also they are giving as a separate option separate module so if you are going to implement i expense in ebs we have i expense internet expense the same application in fusion we called as fusion expense but when you look at ebs r12 or 11i within the accounts payable application you can book the expense reports right you can record the expense reports if your client is not going to use i expense application but in the fusion as a part of payables we don't have such kind of functionality within the payables there is no functionality which allows you to record the expense reports related to employees if you want to create expense reports only the option is fusion expense which is equal to i expense in ebs and the other application are call it as option as per fsm we call these as a options instead of modules or applications fixed assets okay and uh, the other option is customer invoice processing it defines receivables okay fine so once we enable customer invoice processing by default system will select receivables okay it is selecting receivables which allows us to create transactions and receipts and yes receivables has integration with the cash management so the bank account definition and all the details and the integration cash related receipt related information need to be interfaced to cash management for bank statement reconciliation <clears throat> so items yes we have to access the items in receivables whatever the items will maintain in the inventory that is required and optionally you may select collections along with the receivables application if you are going to implement advanced collections application also you may select this option and other one is revenue management okay revenue management cloud services this is great option available and if you are going to implement intercompany budgetary control okay these also you can enable as a sub option and across all these modules okay or say options fixed reserve general ledger payables and all the applications if you want to do the ba reporting and analysis you can enable these okay sub options also that's how you can keep uh, this financials offering offerings and options ready to create and to do the implementation okay once you enable those only you will be able to implement in this instance okay this is a one time setup okay this is one time setup so again other points here when you look at the setups it's when you are implementing the financials again that depends it, uh, if you are implementing for us and it's a federal finance if you are going to implement you can select that relevant uh, options uh, totally depends the country specific controls you can set through setups financials okay one second go to offerings select financials soft and features okay no okay sorry click on edit again is the features setup means it will take us to that pages you have to click on again is features edit that means the country specific the country specific any anything you want to address those you can do here okay 
so it's a public sector client means the relevant options you can go and set by clicking on that edit okay if anything a country specific okay those you can specify here so here sub ledger accounting related rules okay and uh, grc okay governance risk and complaints that depends where you are implementing okay what they want to include accordingly you can set these additional features based on the country so this is how we have to enable the offerings and options now we have seen for finance in the same way if you go to procurement we'll see what modules or see what options we have as a part of procurement offering so go to procurement select procurement you could see here description for procurement click on opt-in features so we'll see what are the applications we have as a part of procurement instead of applications we call as options so within the procurement when you enable the procurement by default you will system will enable suppliers and items and when you enable module called as purchasing okay so it enables okay this receiving and uh, this is separate application self service procurement is nothing but i procurement in ebs okay purchasing is one application self service procurement is another application when you enable this purchasing system will enable receiving also so where it will allow us to create the receipts and if any client is able to take the subscription for p2p cycle in that case instead of enabling financial separately for payables application within the procurement itself you can enable this payables application okay that's how they given supplier portal i supplier in ebs in ebs we have a application called as i supplier the same you could see in the fusion as a supplier portal and sourcing is separate application the procurement contract supplier qualifications also separate applications which we call in the fusion as a different options as per fsm when it comes to user yes that that is application only just only within the fsm when you are dealing with fsm that's a naming convention we use but ideally those are applications here also you can enable the ba analytics so that this information would be available in the ba business intelligence to do a sort of analysis so this uh, is some... yeah please sorry to disturb you but uh, i want to know suppose we have for suppliers we have ariba or something can we integrate that with fusion yes anything anything you can integrate any third party tools you can integrate with the fusion applications to show up service oriented architecture you can do that okay and that is in house implementation or oracle will do it for us no our technical guy will do it our sova expert will do it okay thank you yeah fine done what we have to understand based on the scope of the implementation what are the applications we are going to implement for the client accordingly we have to enable the relevant offerings and within the offerings specific are all options so any questions on this point please at any point of time you can enable the offerings and you can disable also if you disable for existing implementation project see by enabling the offering you can create the project after creating the project after doing the implementation setups and everything when client is going to use you can go and disable there won't be an issue it won't be available to create the new project that's it okay so this is a point we have to understand yeah please i think somebody's having a question uh hi lakshman can yeah. we get a database as well yes we can get database access we'll see that in our classes okay got it thank you yeah, thanks any other questions here please 
uh, Lakshman, uh, like you said, you, we have to enable some country specific options also. So uh, is it related uh, to like localizations? Those are not options. Those are country specific features which may require as per that country. Okay, not not like localization taxes and no, all. No, 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 not localization. That's uh, totally different. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? Fine. Now we'll go through the relevant documents which talks about that specific offering. Okay. So here I'm going to select financials. Here we could see description by clicking on this option features so you can go and enable. Okay. Now here we have a related documents. Just expand this documentation part. Here they are giving certain documents which are related to this offering. Associated features. If you want to see the very uh, features in very summary level related to this financial offering, you can download the document. The documents are available in PDF, HTML and Excel format. The same way if you want to see what are the setups you have to perform. Those could be mandatory setups or optional setups. Okay, for the entire financial offering, what are the setups you have to perform by including mandatory and optional that complete setups you can see by downloading this document. This document, also, all the documents are available with these three formats. The same way related to business objects, nothing, just you can go through that document. There won't be much useful information, there's nothing. You may just go through these two documents. Okay, we'll download this associated features document it's very high level okay just very high level so 24 pages document so just you can go through like the features classification they are giving the suppliers suppliers invoice process users and users security application security okay the supplier bank account the payables so one time payment so you, you can just go through these details just to understand what we have as a part of this financials that to that features which are classified not very detailed so this they are treating as a functional area cash management and banking they are calling as a functional area within that functional area so these are the different uh, features okay so just addressing which is a future or which is a function transaction taxes you can calculate the transactional taxes and what are the functional areas we have and what are the features we have within that if you look at this expenses is functional area within that the expense related to different features okay when you get access to this instance you can go through all these details you may spend some time to go through this okay that's all about features related document. The other document is setup task list and tasks. So every setup which you perform within the Fusion application, we call as a task. So the list of tasks or list of setups we are calling as a task list. That's it. So you can download that document. It's a little bit big document because it talks about all the setups related to financials. Just download it. So open this document. Fine. Here, the task list or task. Here, whatever they are going to address, that is a task list or specific task and a type, task list or task. The description, what is the purpose of the setup and the setup is belongs to which product 
and product family and the setup is required or not conditionally required or not okay so that's how again that is belongs to which module all the details they are giving here you can go through and you can understand let me search for any one of the setup there are many just we can go through say terms and paper you can notice here manage payment terms that is a task type is task so define and maintain oracle fusion payables payment terms in use by an organization the product this task is belongs to this setup is belongs to which application payables this task is belongs to which product family so payables means it's a financials right so required yes this is a required setup and conditionally also yes required okay this setup related data is there option to export and import yes so whether we can import or export csv format related payment terms data through spreadsheets yes they given the module it falls under fscm okay which is which combines financials and scm and other side yes this can be used in the two applications right so enterprise application they are giving us fscm application and uh, other part is here they are giving if you want to do any integrations if you want to do any integrations with the third party applications so we use web services web service is one of the option so if you want to bring the payment terms data from other applications to fusion applications this is the web service okay task flow this is what technical people will use when they are doing integrations okay so this is what we have to understand here you can find all the setups but you no need to depend on this document once we go through these classes that information is good enough you no need to spend time to read all this documented information this document size is 9590 pages document okay just for information one time you may just go through by spending 5 or 10 minutes time that's it not more than that not required okay this is what we have to understand this other documents there is no use by going through that these documents you don't understand get great information you may just click on the download and you can go through it that is that is not that much important for us to go through okay so this is all about offering enabling offerings and options and if required uh, additional features based on the country or certain functionality you can set that also you have seen there are the relevant documents you may go through but not mandatory okay that now the next step is implementation project creation already we discussed what is the meaning of implementation project don't compare this implementation project with our costing billing related or the entire project which we execute okay this is com completely related to configuration related project to manage the system configuration we are going to create the implementation project which implementation system specific configuration related implementation that's it okay now we'll go and see so already we have seen the offering is already enabled since the vision instance it's already enabled if you are dealing with the fresh instance we have to enable it oracle is not going to provide the instance by enabling the offerings and options as per the client subscription no they are giving the option to us to enable that's it now we'll go and create the implementation project okay so we will go to the instance if you want to navigate to project creation page first we have to navigate to this fsm page here you can find the task list this you can call as task list or task panel or task pan click on the task list here it will list out certain tasks and click on manage implementation projects so this is a a uh, place where we create implementation projects now here the question is how many implementation projects we have to create for one client 
that totally depends for how many countries we are going to do the implementation say you are going to implement do the implementation for your client for a us in that case one implementation project is required if you want to create two implementation projects yes you can create only the purpose of this implementation project is to manage the setups to manage the setups without creating implementation project also yes you can create implementation project but setting the status assigning the task to the team members and tracking the progress that advantage you cannot take if you don't have implementation project so this is a point we have to understand if you are going to do the implementation for four countries you may create four projects if you want to create for each offering separate project also yes you can create system is not going to stop us but if you are going to move the setters from one instance to another instance you may have some challenge so that is the reason the recommendation is try to create the single project for single country say you are going to do the implementation for two countries for two countries also you can create the single project but when you are going to do the setups you will find little bit additional task of switching from one country ledger to another country one country business unit to another country business unit this would be additional task that point we will understand once we get into the project related setups okay fine the simple very generic practice is for one country we use we create one project for one country we create one project for one country you can create multiple projects also there is no issue okay but we create one project for one country done so here this is a vision instance you can find n number of projects n number of projects so since this is a vision instance for practice purpose these many projects are created when you are dealing with your client instance you may create one project or two projects that totally depends for how many countries you are going to do the implementation fine don't think one instance can be used for multiple clients no one instance for only one client in fusion okay this instead of calling as instance Okay, EBS. I really we call it as instance, right? In Fusion, this we call as a pod. Since this same applications are available on cloud base, Oracle named it as a pod. P O D pod. Like we have iPod. The same way, this is our applications related pod. Simply we call as pod. This is the term Oracle uses when they refer the instance. Okay. you can call it as pod so when we when any client subscribes this cloud by default they get two pods one is pre prod okay the pre prod you can use for as a test instance and other one is another pod for production okay production purpose will get one more pod okay only if they provide two instances two pods one is pre prod which you can use for testing purpose the other other pod or say other instance they'll provide for production purpose if you want to get one more pod you have to pay accordingly okay they'll charge additionally and they provide how many instances required so you may plan for one more instance if you are going to implement instead of saas pass in case of saas yes these two instances are more than enough one we use for testing other one for production that's it then now we'll see how to create implementation project so how to navigate to this page once again we'll see the navigation so to create implementation project the navigation is you have to click on the username first go to setup and maintenance task
click on the task list click on manage implementation projects so we are directly landing on that page where we can create implementation projects so click on create click on create so by default system is taking the name code description status and by default system is assigning this project to current user and here one more question who can create the project who can create implementation project anyone can create implementation project it's not a great task just we select offerings and offerings and options as a part of implementation project who knows what are the offerings and options we are going to implement for this client they can create the project we no need to think project manager should create the project no this is not that kind of project this is setup related project so consultants as a consultant we create this project okay to whom to assign this project you can just assign to any user doesn't matter you no need to assign to your manager only you may not create your manager as a user within the applications right so you can just assign to any user no issues by default system assigns the project to current user from which user you are creating to that user only system assigns the project if you want to change you can change we'll see that so let's modify the name what system is defaulting let's call it as erp3 inc pro implementation project the same name same name system is defaulting as code and description now by default the project status is not started yes we are creating the project this project is not yet started not yet started means the actual project yes you can see as a started reality but this project means setups okay if you are creating an implementation project in the system that means you started working on the project so assign to whom to assign if you want to assign to some other user yes you can go to you can just here what you have to do is click on the drop down and select a value called as search and assign to other user maybe cloud inc if it is available yes you can select this is how you can assign this project during the project creation after creation also you can do that but project can be assigned to only one user okay i'm assigning to the current user select and say okay and start date and the finish date not for entire project only with the setups when you say implementation project within the instance it means setup so what is your plan to start and complete the setups for this entire implementation project what are the modules we are going to implement for all the modules what is the timeline you have to start and complete say so we are going to start today and you can provide the finish date is not mandatory so you can provide the tentative finish date maybe by end of this month we are going to complete all the setups for all the modules which you are going to select into this project that's it so we given these details then click on next once you create the project you cannot edit the code okay project name you can change but you cannot change the code click on next here we can see all the offerings and options which are already enabled within this instance so before creating the project we verified how to enable the offerings and options in that page what are the offerings already enabled those only you can see here or else let me open the instance in the different tab
go to offerings page actions go to offerings select financials opt-in features So here financials enabled that is reason that financials you can see here if you do if you disable the financials here at the time of implementation project creation you don't find the financials here that means here what are the offerings you are able to see is all are already enabled in this instance if you don't enable you don't find here okay so this is the point we have to understand but so what are the offerings and options are enabled those only you can see at the time of project creation now just we want to include okay we want to include financials into our project that means we, want, we are going to implement financials here you could see the description also the same whatever you can see from here right from the previous page right the same you can see that offering related description say include we are going to include financials into this project yes we are including financials and what are the options you want to include within the same so include supplier invoice processing here it is displaying supplier invoice processing but at the time of enabling that supplier invoice processing option it is showing it consists of what the same you don't see here when you are including supplier invoice processing Okay, here it, we are enabling this means this all will be would be part of that suppliers invoicing process payment process cash management integration and all will be part of this option here you can see when you are enabling the offerings and options you could see detailed information but here it's a summary level information and if you want to implement fusion expense include fusion expense to implement fixed assets include it okay the same way customer invoice processing see here here we enabled here we enabled customer invoice processing that is the reason that is also available here but you don't want to implement it yes you can ignore it that's it okay it's not mandatory whatever you could see you have to include so within the instance you enable may not be for one country maybe for other country in that case you can ignore say you are going to do the implementation for india and us for india operations they are not going to implement receivables in that case if the project is for india operations you can ignore receivables okay that's how you can do so along with receivables if you are going to implement advanced collections you can include but here when we enable customer invoice processing it is showing receivables cash management integration item access collections but here it's only collections only if you want to include collections you can include when you select customer invoice processing by default you will get receivables items and cash management integrations features that's it so if you are going to implement revenue management okay so here description you can find for each and every offering also just one second not opening the pop up yeah okay so the relevant the basic description it is showing what you can do with this specific option you say collections what we can do through collections that you can see so you can include whatever you want to implement and bi analysis it will expand all as you can select them so this is how we have to include offerings and options into project the first step is we are enabling whatever we enable those would be available to include in the project that same way if you include procurement also yes we can do that here is the procurement offering include within the procurement these are the applications purchasing 
along with the purchasing if you want to implement self service procurement which is iproc high procurement module within the abs enable it supplier invoice processing and all already we enabled from financials right that again we don't need to enable from here supplier portal say sourcing supplier qualification procurement contracts okay and again analytics required if and enable so this is how you can include offerings and options into project once we done with that you can say save and do open project now system would create task list for all the options which we included within this project through offerings means to implement this financials and procurement what are the setups we have to perform including mandatory and optional system will list out everything we'll see that Just wait for a second, it would complete the project creation, including all the tasks. Okay, project is created. So, within the project, you can see the two offerings, whatever we selected. The two offerings you can see. Fine. So this is how you can create the project. Now, if you want to add, okay, if you want to add any additional offerings into this project, yes, you can do it. Here you have a add option. This is a project. Within the project, you have these two offerings. If you want to add one more offering, yes, you can do it. Say so you want to add. Offering called as compensation management. Okay, you want to add complete offering into this project, or want to add specific tasks or a task list? You can specify here and you can search. If you want to add offerings, then you can search for offerings. So, you want to add offering called as Fusion Accounting Hub. Say way if you want to add some task list you can search for task list only the task list you can add that may refer specific application so that's how you can do it from here you can add it here whatever we are adding after creating the project those also which are enabled within this instance the background you could see Fusion Accounting Hub is added into this project. Say that. If you want to remove any offering, yes, select it. Click on Remove. Okay, this is how you can remove. Create one more project. Click on Create. Let's accept the same name now directly. In, if you click on next, it will take us to the page from where we can include the offerings and options. So, instead of including the offerings and options at the time of project creation, we can do the same after project creation. Also, in that case, simply click on save and open project. System would create empty project. You can add what are the offerings and options you want to include. I want to include financials. Now I don't need to select each and every option. Direct financials I can select. Search, select and say apply.
so when you select it creates the task list many setups so that is the reason it is taking time when you say financials we have a multiple applications for each application we have a big list of setups so all system is generating now And Lakshman, what is that freeze? Uh, is it like you're freezing the requirements or? No, no, no. I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you that. Say done. So this means, see, you can see the many pages. The functionality is here on this page. Now the freeze is selected. Okay, you can unfreeze. Okay, freeze is selected by default. That means here this section is freezed. So not below section this section is freezed wherever you have freeze the below section is freeze that means once the section is freezed the section whatever freezed you can detach click on detach that section can be separated copy can be created that is the meaning of freeze that's it okay so you can freeze this section and you can detach it Fine. So now we created two projects. Click on done. We we'll go back to the previous page here. This these are the two projects we created, right? ERP3 INC and implementation project four. Say we are going to use this implementation project to do the setups. So just click on the project. You can search for specific setup and say you completed setups. After completing the setups delete the project so I, I want to delete this project say I completed GL setups AP setups here setups these three module setups I completed by using this project through this project now I'm deleting this project yes we can delete so we are deleting this project delete it now what's wrong with the setups everything would be fine what are the setups you are doing that would be stored in the relevant tables we are using that project as a user interface which will facilitate to navigate to certain functionality certain task if you want to create the primary ledger you can find the navigation from the project if you want to create the accounting calendar you can find the navigation from the project if you want to create legal entity or if you want to do any AP related setups or AI related setups, you can find the navigations from the project. After doing the setups, if you delete the project, don't think we are deleting that setups also, whatever we did through that project. No, we are not deleting the setups. Just we are deleting the project which provides navigation. That's it. The setups, whatever we perform, that would be stored in the database. If you delete the project, what is the issue? If you delete the project it, and if you want to move the setups from one instance to another instance, what are the setups we did through specific project, we don't have any option. That is the reason we do the setups through project so that what are the setups we do? So our primary ledger, our legal entities, our business units and inventory organizations, all these would be tagged with the project so that that project we can use to move that setups from one instance to another instance. This point you will understand more detail level once we start with the setups. But simple point here is you may delete the project, but generally we don't do it. But even if you delete, what are the setups you already completed by using that project there won't be any issue with those setups. Any questions here, please? But, uh, yeah, Lakshman. Lakshman, if you delete the project, but you cannot migrate those setups to the next uh, production instance or something like that, right? Yes. One is See, instance. I'll tell you that point. What system will do is, 
so you created one xyz project through that project you created one primary ledger so my xyz primary ledger and xyz bu xyz le and xyz inv inventory organization and what are the setups you do all will be connected to these definitions right the primary ledger where it is relevant there it would be connected and the other setups whatever you do specific to bu specific applications that would be connected <clears throat> this all everything system would do the tagging within the project you would try to copy this project and when you try to extract by selecting this project you can create configuration package when you create the configuration package by using this project this configuration package will identify through this project what setups are done those it would tag and with that it will create one file but if the configuration package will create one file that means the configuration package extract the setups okay from this project those that file will be loading in the other instance so now you created project now you created project and you perform the setups now you deleted this project but this setups will remain in the database you deleted project but these setups you want to migrate to you want to move to other instance in that case what you have to do is again you can create the project xyz project but from this project you did create these setups earlier project also you created as a xyz project from that you did now what you have to is from this project you have to access to xyz primary ledger go to navigate to xyz ledger through this project navigate to xyz bu navigate to xyz le navigate to xyz io and other setups since from this project you are navigating to these definitions again this with these all will be tagged into this project now you can use again this project for copying purpose this project you can use to move the servers from one instance to another instance by using the configuration packages if you do any setups from any uh, if you do any setups from any project system will system automatically tag everything into that project that's how those everything will will become relevant to that project if you delete there is no first of all there is no project there is no connectivity between the project and the setups that is the reason you cannot move the setups so this is what we have to understand any questions please and as soon as the implementation project is optional so in that case how the configuration package is um... you cannot optional you okay. have to think on that you have a requirement of moving the setups from one instance to another instance or not if you think you are not going to move the setups from one instance to another instance and first you will do the setups in the test and you will be testing and they will be presenting to the client once everything is fine your plan is again you have to you want to do all the setups in the production from the scratch if that is your plan you no need to worry about the copying the project okay so if you think it is a mandatory you have to create the project if you think that is not required without creating the project also you can do the setups i'll i'll take you through these two options how to create the setup through project okay without project also it's all about our plan but ideally in every project we create implementation project to manage the setups by creating the implementation project there is one more advantage also not only just creating the configuration package if you do the setups through project ever whatever i mean what are the setups whatever you are going to do in the instance your job will become easy if you don't have a project if you want to go and modify something within your primary ledger it could be ledger options or anything you have to search you have to select the primary ledger then you have to click on go then it will display your primary ledger if you do the setups through project automatically system will tag the 
primary ledger with one click you can open the primary ledger otherwise you have to click you have to search you have to find you have to select you have to say okay that's it this is we'll, we'll see all those things in the system any other questions please uh lakshman does that uh, rapid implementation use this configuration package uh, no no that's totally different so is there an option to export these uh, primary ledger business unit setups and uh, can we uh, upload into the production or something is there any feasibility see <clears throat> when i talk about this for certain records certain definitions they are giving the export option okay what are the data available you can export but when it comes to this primary ledger and all these you can export with the configuration package only okay when you talk about primary ledger not only just selecting calendar currency chart of accounts and accounting method and primary ledger name it associate with many other ledger options that is the reason so all you cannot find in one place so those are separate setups primary ledger creation is one setup setting up ledger options is separate setup that is the reason so for, for certain definitions they are not giving the spreadsheet uh, export option directly wherever you find single record where there is no association those you can export into spreadsheet so once we start with the setups there we can find all these okay many questions should, should be answered through the uh, some configuration process yeah uh lakshman can we use this configuration package as a version controlling means suppose yes, till date till march you can do that version control also yes possible okay you can just create on configuration package you can keep as a version one again you may do some additional setups and all you can create one more configuration package that you may name it as two that's how you can have a version control between that there will be difference the additional setups that's it but ideally ideally when you deal with this configuration packages and all what we'll do is once everything is ready in one go we export and will load into the targeted instance okay that is the approach we follow still if you want to create with the different versions you can do it but ultimately how to plan thus one version to load into targeted instance yeah you can do that any other questions on this project creation okay no now we'll just look into some other details fine so once you create implementation project what are the setups you are going to do there won't be any issue with those setups even if you delete the project that's very important point now uh, just click on this project it will open the project definition now here you can see the assignments start date finish date and everything if you want to edit any details you can click on edit this is project basic information you can click on edit so you can change the project name but not code you can change the description you can change the status of the project okay so we are going to start working on the project so you can set the status as in progress or else we completed setups for all the applications you can set entire project status as a completed okay this is how you can manage say i'm selecting in progress so this project we want to assign to whom there is no great importance to this field assignment you can assign to any user and start date and date in any time you can change it so now <clears throat> if you want to assign if you want to assign this financials to specific resource select this financials offering okay as before that we'll see how system created tasks within this project just expand financials folder so system created all these subfolders so most of the subfolders refers specific application so all setups which are related to fusion expense you can find within this folder within this folder fixed asset related setups within this receivables revenue management collections 
and within this payable related setups okay this we call as task lists because within this we can find many tasks i'm going to expand define invoicing and payments configuration that means payables again within that we have task list okay so define payables expand so here you have a few tasks like manage payables calendar in ebs whatever you call a special calendar here the name is payables calendar since we are using in payables manage payment terms you can notice which is a mandatory task which is optional the star marks indicates the task is mandatory and here for all the tasks there is no star mark that means those are optional if you want to set up tolerances as per your business need you may set invoice tolerances the same way we know in payables where we use this payables calendar for withholding tax recurring invoices payment terms and the key indicators right that is a those are the concepts where we can use the uh, special calendar EBS, the same applicable in the future. If you are going to implement those, you can use, otherwise ignore it. So that's all. If you want to create the payment terms, simply you can click on go to task icon. It will take us to payment terms creation page. Okay. Here you can create the payment terms. So it's very difficult for us to navigate in all the ways to create something. So that is the reason here we have a search field. You can search for anything. Okay, you can just find very easily and you can navigate from there. Say I want to create accounting calendar. Right, to create a primer ledger we need accounting calendar. If you want to create accounting calendar, you can search for accounting calendar. And one more point here. This, this all we call as a tasks manage payable payment terms manage payables calendars manage invoice tolerances this all we call as a tasks this is a task this is a task this is a task and this is also task so task will have go to task icon but other whatever you see those all falls under task list those consist of multiple tasks okay in EBS we have form function non form function so non-form function is equal to <coughs> task list. That means if you click on non-form function, it will open further submenus or functions. Right. Same way, you can correlate. So this four are tasks. So by clicking on this go to task icon, you can define something, you can create something. But at least this, again, is this, you don't have go to task icon. With that, you cannot create something by expanding that. Within that, you can find the tasks with those tasks you can do any sort of setups so instead of taking the navigation simply you can search for anything notice almost all the tasks are starting with manage 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 here defined 99 percent of tasks you can find starts with a manage prefix is manage i want to create accounting calendar okay i no need to write the full task name Okay, I just, I'm searching for accounting calendar. Here you can find same task, manage accounting calendars, manage accounting calendars, but this task is available from these two offerings. From financials, you can create accounting calendar, from procurement also. If you want to create from procurement, this is a navigation you have to follow if you want to create through manual process. Okay, by following this navigation, you can create. Okay, I'm just selecting financial related tasks. Both will navigate us to same page. So now we don't know proper navigation, but we are here to create the accounting calendar. If you click on go to task icon, we can create accounting calendar. <clears throat> if you want to know the navigation, you can click on this show hierarchy icon. Manually, if you want to find this task, this is a hierarchy you have to follow. First, you have to go to financials offering. Within the financials, you have to go to define common application configuration for financials. Within that, you have to go to task list called as define enterprise structure for financials. 
Under that, we have another task list called as define financial reporting structures. Under the task list, we have another task list called as define calendars. Under that task list, we have a task called as manage accounting calendars. Okay, if you want to check the same, you can see that. First, we have to go to financials. Within the financials, define common application configuration for financials. Expand financials. What is our task list name? Define common applications configuration for financials. Define common applications configuration for financials. You can drag this column to the right. You can see the full name. Now go to this. And further, what is the navigation? So I have to go to task list called as define enterprise structure for financials. Okay. Define enterprise structure for financials. Expand it. And within that, we have to go to define financial reporting structures. Define financial reporting structures. Define financial reporting structures. With this, you can find define calendars. Define calendars. If you expand, here you can find the task called as manage accounting calendars so this is how you can navigate and you can define something but when you are working always we search with the name and directly we can connect to the task and you can perform the task okay this is how we can do so this is how you can see all the task list what system created tasks and the task list system created so almost option wise done fine uh, lakshman uh, normally without creating that uh, project implementation tab, uh, folder can we go to the functional setup manager and that offerings in that uh, task can we search yes. and yes 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 you can do that so now by creating the project we are making all these task lists and tasks to be available in our project but within the instance, by default, everything would be available once you enable those. Okay, instance level, everything is available. But now project level, we are getting all this information, all these tasks. That's it. Okay. I'll, yeah, I'll show you that. Uh, uh, my question is only, I mean, uh, if you want to do, just as you shown, right? If I want to do the accounting calendar, yeah, I don't need to... Same, same. Answer. For all. One second. So from this task list, instead of going to manage implementation project, go to search page. Search for accounting calendar. There will be one accounting calendar task within this instance that you can access. Here is the accounting calendar. Manage accounting calendars. Directly it will take us to accounting calendar creation page. That's it. From this page, you can access everything, but from the project, you can access, you created project for which offerings and which options. And from this page, you cannot do all the setups, but from the project page, you can do all the setups. If you are not able to do from this page, all the setups from where you can do, we have a separate option that also will go through. Fine, any other questions? No. I think uh, find that assignments and the status and a few other details we have to go through that we can see in the tomorrow session. It's almost 9:30. Okay, we'll we'll discuss those points in tomorrow session.
so any questions on today's session or on previous classes please any questions please I see that in the uh, suppose your accounting calendar, I see uh, one is mandatory and one of the transaction calendar is not mandatory. Correct. So if we if we do uh, if we do not do any setup for managed transaction calendar, so will that have any impact on the implementation project status or? No, you tell me where we use the accounting calendar. Why we are creating accounting calendar? Why? Yeah, while setting up uh, ledger and all, we'll be That's doing it. all these accounts. You cannot create primary ledger. Without primary ledger, what you can do? That's it. Okay. There won't be an issue okay. with the project, but the setups you cannot execute. Without uh, right. setups, what is the use of the project? To do the setups only, we are using the project. The same you can track. That's it. Okay. Yeah, fine. Hi Lakshman, uh, could you please share uh, the videos uh, in Google Drive, please? Vijay here. Vijay. Okay, sure, sure. Yeah. So you remember, I already kept sending. Sure, sure, sure. We'll do that. We'll do that. Yeah. I just informed uh, Satish. I think you are in touch with Satish. We will do that. Yeah. Yes, Fine. Any other questions from any? In this cloud instance, uh, is there any audit trail feature included? Uh, like uh, last updated in Oracle, we, we will see only the last updated, but we will not see, not be able to see what column or what field was updated. Is, is there any feature available in this uh, cloud? Uh, no, no, no. That detail information they are not giving. Just the patches they are applying. Okay, so with, by following certain intervals, <clears throat> those those can fix some bug or those can fix small issue with the instance, but you don't see that. Okay. Share it to me as well, Lakshman. Yeah, yeah, sure. We'll, we'll share with everyone. We'll share with everyone who already subscribed this course. Every, everyone will receive today. So, Lakshman, uh, we have this, um, I know, test URL, I mean, a fusion instance, right? Correct. So, if I do some setup uh, and if I face some error, um, I can email you? Correct. correct. How do... Yes, you can email. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, thank you. You received uh, instance from specific email ID, right? This is the email ID, erpitri.com and rate of gmail ID. So, yes, from this yes. mail ID, you might have received the instance. If you have any issues, you can just send me any issue related. So, I, I already created a new user, then okay. I, uh, yeah. Hope you've gone through that uh, some notes, right? Along with the instance details, I give it some certain details so how to manage yes. the users okay so how it works please go through that detail so that it would be easy okay okay please. sure yeah fine any other questions for uh, lakshman uh, rajesh Savant, i haven't received any uh, username and password for uh, this batch okay what's your name uh, yes avian Savant. Rajesh Savant actually. Okay, Rajesh Savant. You are in touch with? Uh, Srikant only. Srikant, okay. I'll talk to Srikant and I'll share. Okay, thank you. Okay, thanks. Uh, not videos actually. I was asking about instance username and password. Videos and instance I got actually. Okay, fine. Only the password. Okay, sure. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Any other questions from anyone? Uh, Lakshman, just one question. Can you show where is the help navigation? Sorry? Can you show the help navigation here? Help navigation? You, like, uh, you said like you can, it's a self-explanatory if you have any issues or if you want to know yeah, more. I'll show, I'll show that the detail level. I'll show in the tomorrow session. Then. Simple, okay. you have to go and enable and it will be applicable wherever Oracle is given help. Through that, you can navigate to that help portal also, or else within the same page by clicking on that, it would give you the brief information to understand about. We'll, we'll do that. Yeah. Any other questions?
fine seems to no questions then that's all for today we'll connect tomorrow same time and we'll continue from here thank you all have a good day and good night